Hi everybody, content free time here doing a, a different kind of video this week. I wanna, I wanted to try doing an unscripted long form video because that's mainly what I listen to these days. So, you know, maybe you guys will like that too. So anyway, um, I wanted to give my overall thoughts on the Steam Deck. Mine just came in a few weeks ago, and I've really been enjoying it. The first thing I want to say is. My friend sent me a meme right after I got it asking if this was my experience with it. And yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious how accurate this is. At least the first week or so, I'd say. I spent way more time just trying, you know, toying around with it and seeing what it could do rather than actually playing games on it. Um, and it was frustrating at times because I didn't exactly know all the quirks yet. Um, I figured, you know, it's Linux. I probably have to go into the command line and do like all this code and stuff if I want like some crazy Windows games to work or whatever. But um, turns out Proton, between Proton and Wine and Steam, like the compatibility layers they have in in all this stuff nowadays, it, it um, you don't need to do much. It does it all for you. It's really crazy. Like, one of the first things I wanted to see if I could get working was the Pokemon trading card game online. And I was like, oh, well, this is Windows and I think Mac only. So I really doubt this is going to work. It's, you know, this old online game. Uh, it doesn't work through Steam. It's uh, probably unoptimized, whatever. So I, um, without even, like, trying to install it or anything, I looked up, Pokemon trading card game on Linux, how you would do that. And I, I must have been looking at an outdated article or something because it gave me this long walkthrough on how to get it working with Wine and you, all the um, all these different codes you had to enter and whatnot. I don't know. And so in trying to do that, I made it so that my Steam Deck would automatically prompt me for a password every single time I opened desktop mode. And I could not for the life of me, figure out how to disable it. And um, it's it's kind of hard to troubleshoot the Steam Deck problems right now because the thing's relatively new. I don't think a lot of people, like the majority of people still don't have their hands on it. So, so I ended up having to do a factory reset, which was a little annoying because I had already installed gigabytes and gigabytes of games on it. But not a big deal because most of them were through Steam and it's really easy to re-download games through Steam. But anyway, that was my first run with the Steam Deck. Once I had the thing back up and running again, I uh, I just tried installing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online like regularly as if I would on Windows. And it just opens up and runs and plays just like it would on Windows, even though it's an EXE file. So yeah, it's uh, it's crazy how how good Linux is getting with Windows compatibility. I also didn't realize when I got it that desktop mode has like an app store. It has its own app store. I had heard about this before getting the Steam Deck, but I figured it was just accessed through Steam. But they hide it away in the desktop mode. It's in the little bottom left corner here. And so I was trying to download stuff through the web browser or through Steam. And I was like, where are all these apps that everyone's talking about? Turns out they're all right here. And um, yeah, I'd wish I had known that right from the start because I was downloading all this sketchy stuff from online. But the stuff in the app store seems to work pretty well. I've been very happy with that. Discover, I guess it's called. So one of the next things I wanted to do on the Steam Deck was see if I could get a virtual machine running. I know you can install Windows on it now, but it's overly complicated because Steam doesn't officially support dual booting yet. So I'd either have to wipe it and install just Windows on it, or I'd have to go jump through a bunch of hoops to dual boot Windows and the Steam Deck OS on it. And I just didn't really want to deal with that. So I figured, hey, maybe I can just run Windows in a virtual machine. And you can. There is an app in the Discover Center um, called Boxes that lets you just install a virtual machine. So I did that. Um, if you go to the App Store here, Discover Center, you go to Download Boxes, I install that. Uh, as long as you have an ISO file of Windows, 
you can just go ahead and boot that up, install it like a regular Windows computer, and yeah, you can get Windows on Linux. Um, of course, this is running in a virtual machine, so it's going to be bogged down a little by resources or whatever. I don't know the <laughs> technical aspects of it, but um, yeah, it's it's a fully functional version of Windows. I uh, the main reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to get Mabinagi running on here, and I knew that that game has heavy anti-cheat measures in it, and I knew that wasn't going to work on Linux. And I did get it working on the Steam Deck, but. Uh, I can't play it, mainly because the camera controls. For some reason, the mouse, when you try to move the camera in Mabinagi on the Steam Deck, it like flicks it. So it's either you're constantly looking up or you're constantly looking down. And as far as I can tell, there's no way to fix that. So if anyone knows the solution for that, uh, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. I would love to know. Um, I tried lowering the mouse sensitivity and that didn't work, but uh, yeah, anyway. So um, Neon White is a game I've been wanting to try for a while, and that runs perfectly on the Steam Deck. I have been having a lot of fun with that game. It's like Mirror's Edge meets Sonic meets, gosh, I don't know, uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories <laughs> with the, the card system. It's a lot of fun. Um, been trying to get really good times on that can't beat anyone's times on that because people are stupidly good at it but it's still fun i've been having a lot of fun playing it play katsu party works on the steam deck so that's cool i wasn't expecting that there's this app called mu deck that someone made for the steam deck that integrates your retro arch emulators and or, uh, emulators and roms like into steam and that is very cool. Uh, you can see here, I got a few emulated games here, uh, mostly Sonic games, <laughs> and they work flawlessly. I've been playing Knuckles Chaotix for the first time. Tried the game as a kid, didn't really understand how it worked, but now that I'm playing it through fully for the first time, it's a pretty good game. Um, the levels are kind of samey and they get a bit repetitive, but uh, overall the mechanics are kind of neat. It's it's a, It was a nice change of pace compared to the other old Sonic games. Definitely not the best one, probably the worst one, but still still fun, you know? All the old Sonic games are pretty good. Other than that, I haven't been playing a whole lot of games, uh, just kind of seeing what works on it. Been playing a little bit of Stardew Valley, that's been fun, getting caught up on that. I haven't played that in years. I've just been really impressed with this thing. Like, there are so many games that are marked as incompatible on Steam that just work with it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that because I had seen videos where people talk about it and they're like, oh yeah, there's all these games that don't work on Steam. Lucid is incompatible and I wish, you know, I wish Steam wouldn't allow you to play those games because it's just disheartening or whatever. But um, I'm sure glad they do let you boot them up because I found that most of them work. Um, you just need to go into settings and toggle on um, this beta version of Proton and like almost everything I've tried has worked pretty much flawlessly and it's fantastic. I'm even recording this video on my Steam Deck. So let me know how the audio quality is. Hopefully it's not terrible. Um, if it isn't, I'd like to continue recording things on here because it's very convenient just being able to sit on my couch, record and even edit. I don't know if that's going to be practical long term. Um, maybe if I got a mouse and keyboard, but then I might as well just go on my computer anyway. But I uh, just wanted to try it out for this video, see how it worked. The recording process is perfect, but I haven't gotten to the editing yet since I'm just recording audio at the moment. So I'll let you know how that goes later. I feel like the Steam Deck came at like the perfect time for me. My wife and I just moved a few months ago into a house that's like a 45 minute commute to our office. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of free time anymore. Not that I did before but I have even less now, and so the Steam Deck is perfect. I can just boot something up on, while resting on the couch in the evenings, uh, play through it really quick, or tinker around with it for a bit, hit sleep, and pick it up again later. Not only that, but <clears throat> everyone's been complaining about the graphics quality on the Switch lately, and how it's getting more and more outdated day by day. And I love the Switch, and I still love the Switch, but I think I'm only going to buy first party games on it going forward because 
pretty much every third party game that's on the Switch is also on the PC. And I would much rather play it on Steam Deck if I can now because the, uh, the graphical quality and just the performance of the games is going to be so much better on this thing. Um, screen's about the same, maybe a little better on the Steam Deck, but the storage is more upgradable. I mean, you can just keep putting micro SD cards into both of them, but <laughs> the the biggest internal memory switch has like what 50 gigabytes, <laughs> and the uh, the biggest Steam Deck internal memory size is like 512 gigabytes. So yeah, I, I got a lot more space to work with on that thing. That being said, I have already filled up my internal storage. I have a 512 gigabyte SD card um, that's supposed to be delivered soon, although Amazon, or I guess the postal service, lost my package, and that's kind of annoying. But anyway, my Switch library was already getting huge, and I'm kind of glad that I won't have to buy a lot of games for it going forward, because I don't have room for a lot of games going forward. As much as I love physical games, it's going to be nice to just have everything in one place on my Steam Deck. I don't have to switch out cartridges constantly. If I want to download something outside of games, I can just go on the internet and do that. It's just an overall great package, and I would highly recommend one to anyone that's considering it, especially since they have the three different tiers. Like, I got the most expensive one because I knew I was going to fill up this storage quickly, and I wanted a lot of stuff internally just because, I don't know. People say the micro SD cards work just as fast as the uh, internal memory on this thing. But I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd say give it a try. It probably is fine. But uh, I, I just trusted the internal memory a little more. So what do you guys think of the Steam Deck? Nobody commented on my last Steam Deck video. So hopefully you guys watch this one. And if you don't, well, too bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.